Most gemstones with which we're familiar are formed by normal geological processes and come from either igneous, sedimentary, or metamorphic rock deposits. But there are a couple of precious materials, gemstones, uh, that come from biological activity. One example is amber, which comes from tree sap that hardens into a, a yellow, uh, interesting material that sometimes contains uh, trapped insect fossils. But another example is the pearl, which is very familiar to a lot of people and at times in the past has been very uh, valuable, uh, although synthetic ones are made today. To understand pearls, we've got to understand a little bit about the ocean and the creatures that live there. In the ocean, we have a lot of dissolved materials, the most important of which for our discussion here is the mineral calcite. Now, calcite in crystalline form looks like this, but of course, in the ocean, the calcite is dispersed and in solution, so you don't really see it as a solid particle. And little creatures, and even some larger ones that live in the ocean, have the ability to extract calcite or sometimes other materials from the ocean and build a solid shell for themselves. Uh, one group that does that is the mollusks, and one example of a mollusk is the oyster. An oyster is a bivalve or a plecopod, a two-shelled mollusk. This is one shell of it. And if we look at this uh, shell, it's made of calcite, very similar to limestone. So if we put a little drop of, of acid on here, dilute acid, uh, about the strength of vinegar, we're going to get a very uh, powerful reaction between that, which indicates that we have a material made of calcite. So what are pearls and how do they form? Well, oysters have long been harvested for food and uh, people would occasionally notice that an oyster would have a little round sphere in it. And those were very, very unusual, very uncommon, and very valuable. And then over time, people uh, began to examine those and realized what was going on. If the oyster somehow, when the shell is open and it's taking water in and out, if it gets like a sand grain or some other irritant in there, it will secrete calcite just like it secretes to make its shell, but it will try to coat the irritating uh, substance, foreign matter, whatever you want to call it, until it is uh, you know, smooth on the edge and apparently doesn't bother it as much. But once people figured that out, they developed the uh, bright idea of, hey, let's take some oysters and artificially put a little irritant in them and force them to grow these pearls. And so once they did that, uh, pearl harvesting became uh, much easier and uh, pearls became much less expensive, although they were still valuable due to the, the time and effort it takes to get them. Now, if you go and you know, buy just you know, cheap costume jewelry today, they're going to be like artificial pearls synthetically made and not really from an oyster. But that's the story of pearls and how uh, dissolved minerals in the ocean end up being used by creatures in the ocean not only to make their homes in which they normally live, but also uh, to protect them against little irritants within their shells, and that leads to the uh, development of pearls.